Here we have the Zenith Transoceanic R600 produced in 1955. I previously made a series of YouTube videos about this radio. The unit has been stored electronically with a solid state power supply called the filter pack. This took the place of the main filter cap, some other capacitors, and the 50A1 tube. The 1L6 tube has been updated with a solid state version. All the other capacitors have been replaced as well as the resistors and the filament string for the tubes. In addition, all three dial strings have been replaced. This was followed up by a complete alignment. The case is a nice shape, nice shape and the wave rod is straight and operates smoothly. Show it to you here. Back up a little bit so you can see with the lid open. And I'll show you the back. Here you can see I put a little sticker saying filter pack. The 50A1 tube is behind here. The solid state 1L6, it's in there somewhere. It's nice and clean on the inside. So it has the uh, suction cups for the uh, wave magnet. Don't work anymore. Uh, this clip here is where a manual would go if you, if you had the manual. The wave, rod, the wave magnet, this is the wave magnet. That's removable. And then you could put these, uh, wait a minute, it's not in the picture. This is removable. Then you could use the suction cups and theoretically you could stick it on the window of a train and uh, use it. It was uh, touted as a portable shortwave radio. And uh, they actually came with a battery that went in here back in the day. Let's check it out on the bands. I don't even have the, the antenna extended. That's 25 meters. Let's go to the AM broadcast band. Car this year. This year, the focus on full time. That's a strong local station not too far away from here at AM620. And you can see it's pretty much dead on. Going a little closer here. What do you do? What kind of a You can, I don't know if you can tell, but the sun is just starting to go down. So I was hoping to catch some decent light and a little bit of uh, DX here. That might be AM770 out of New York City. I'm in uh, Vermont. And we're not too far from Canada. Uh, as a result of it, and uh, there are so many important healthcare causes out there, and if you're able, we should support all of them. You know, AM 960, I believe. This jump has the goods, or it's just a case of sour grapes. He was fired by Twitter over <laughs> AM 1230, also a local station. You can hear the faraway station starting to come in. Alright, let's pull out the uh, wave rod. And give it a try on the band. So we'll try, uh, let's go back to 25 meters, which is the second one down. Meses de prisión después de haber recorrido varios. Wow, plenty of stuff coming through. Now go to uh, 31 meters, the top man. I've written instructions on how you can accomplish that. Plates will be poured out. 
These plagues are unprecedented. Old serpents and scorpions and all the. I also heard it by synchronizing. Okay. Go to, that's weird. Go to 19 meters. The third one down. What is that, side beam? Turn that light back on. Light on a timer out here. Sound like side beam. There's some FT8. Kind of in a weird spot. These aren't the most uh, accurate dials, even after you do an alignment. That might be 13845, which is uh, WWCR, I think. Now I'll go to 16 meters, which probably won't get anything because the sun has almost gone completely down. But let's give it a try. So the bottom two buttons are two to four megacycles and four to eight megacycles. First, I'll try four to eight, which is that band there. Try two to four mega cycles, which is more of a nighttime band, but I bet I'll get CHU. There it is. CHU at 33.30. It's a tiny bit off. It just announced the time. I won't wait for it to come back around. Um, 80 meters sideband. Sounds like some Canadians. They won't tune in sideband or CW. It's not made to. Okay, there you can see it's uh, working on uh, all the bands. Does a does a nice job. One other minor thing I thought I'd point out. This is a little uh, pigtail uh, that would plug into the battery and that operated the dial light. And some people uh, install a D-cell battery in there, they cut that connector off, put a D-cell battery uh, on a little holder on the, on the wood there, and then uh, you can operate the uh, dial light. 
which is a, a momentary switch on the front. And uh, here is that momentary switch for the dial light here. It's spring loaded. Here's the headphone jack. Here's the on off and volume. The tuning control. And uh, different red buttons for uh, tone, like this one says voice, alto, bass. The one on the left says treble. And uh, that's basically it. That is the Zenith Transoceanic R600 from 1955. All nicely restored. Thank you.